My name is Olivia and I work full-time for a company. I have been in a relationship with Brian since college. Olivia, look at the horizon at sunset. It is so beautiful. I know. The sky and the ocean are orange. It's so beautiful. I want to see many more beautiful things like this with you in the future. Me too. I want to see many more beautiful things with you. I've never felt this way before. Not only that, but when I'm with you, the world seems to shine brighter. Olivia, will you marry me? Yes, I was hoping we could be together, Brian. I love you. I love you, too, Olivia. I can't wait for our future. The other day Brian proposed to me, and I became his fiance. That's how I started living with Brian, but at the moment, we were having a hard time preparing for the wedding, so, we had planned to get a marriage license later. I am in the midst of such happiness, but there is one thing that worries me. Brian. I've come to pick you up. Oh Sharon, you're late. No, I came as early as I could. Oh, Olivia, hello. Hi. Sharon. Come on, Brian, let's go. Okay, okay, don't rush me. Brian, I thought you'd stay with me today. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought, but Sharon said she's off today too, so. Well, Olivia, I'm going out with her for a bit, so see you later. Ah, uh, okay, see you later. This person is Sharon, who has known Brian since they were little. They were very close, too close. Brian became my fiancé after we graduated from college, but Sharon and Brian have never stopped seeing each other. Hey Olivia, is Brian here? Hi Sharon. Brian is at the grocery store right now, I think he will be back soon. Okay, we must have passed each other. I'll wait for him here then. Oh, were you cooking? Are these boiled vegetables? Yes, I wanted him to eat more vegetables. No, no, that won't make Brian happy, I'm his childhood friend, so I'm sure he won't like it. I know. But boiled vegetables are good for you. What do you mean it's good for you, like you're looking after your fiancé's health? If you were me, I'd just make Brian happy cooking what he likes. I wish I could do that, but it would be diet would be unbalanced. So you have to do both. Well, maybe only I can do that because I'm his childhood friend. Because we spent way more time together. Ha <laughs> ha. You're probably right. Sharon would verbally attack me whenever she finds an opportunity and make herself feel better. To be honest, I found it very annoying. I was worried and decided to talk to my mother-in-law. And they always go out together. I see. I asked Brian to do it less, but he just let it go. He catches up with her almost every day. Okay, I don't like Brian makes you feel this way. I'll tell him, and if there's anything else I can do, just let me know. Mother, thank you. The mother-in-law and I were getting along well and often went shopping and had meals together. It was very relieving to have such a mother-in-law on my side. Then the preparations for the wedding progressed, and on the day of the wedding, when our reception started. Olivia, you look so beautiful. Thank you. It's because of you that we were able to have such a beautiful ceremony. Everyone, please pay attention. We're going to have a cake ceremony. What? I thought we were going to have the cake ceremony much later. Is that so? The staff certainly seem to be in panicky. Brian, what's going on? Sharon, let's do it together. Oh my god, it's your wedding day. Are you sure? That's okay. Let's make memories together. Hey! Wait a minute. What on earth are you doing? Okay, I'm cutting the cake for the bride, Olivia. Three, two, one. Ha ha ha. We did it. We did it together. OMG, I really did it with you. No way. Hey everybody. This is a moment to remember. Please take pictures. Come on. It's picture time. Ha ha ha.
I'm now the bride instead of you, Olivia. While I was talking to my mother-in-law, Brian and Sharon cut the wedding cake themselves. I was shocked and felt like thrown under the bus from the happy wedding. Hey! What the hell are you doing? Whoa! What? Mom, don't scare me! Hey, don't be so loud. Do you have any idea what you've done, cut a cake with a woman other than the bride? No no no, calm down a bit. This is just a little joke. It's like a memorial that Sharon came to my wedding. Memorial? Brian, do you know what the cake ceremony means? It's the vows of two people getting married, a wish, a thank you to those who came, it has such an important meaning. And yet you did it with your childhood friend instead of me, your future wife? And you wanted to make a memory with her? That's enough. You've just ruined a once-in-a-lifetime experience for Olivia. Hey hey hey, you two, don't be so mad at Brian. I bet Brian didn't know it was that important. Sharon, you are too. You're a woman, I'm sure you know more about the importance of the cake ceremony than Brian does. Don't you feel sorry for Olivia for doing this? Well, that's... Well, you can just make another cake again. Then Brian and Olivia can have a cake ceremony, and everything will be fine. Don't be ridiculous. The wedding cake is custom-made. It's not something that can be recreated so easily. Look around, you two have no defense. Brian and Sharon seemed to notice what was going on around them only after I said so. Brian and Sharon are surprised by the cold stares they get from the people around them. Then... Huh. I didn't want to believe. Liam. What the hell are you talking about? What do you mean? Actually I saw Brian and Sharon go into the hotel a little while ago. What? No way! I knew they were close at work, but I didn't think it was something. I was hoping I was looking at the wrong guy. I'm so disappointed. Um... Are you one of Brian's colleagues? You said they were close at work, is that... Yes, I'm Liam and I work with Brian in the same company. Didn't you know that? They work in the same office. Oh, wait. That's not necessary. Oh, I was wondering why he hasn't brought Sharon lately. Also, I was thinking why he has been coming home late lately. I know I got everything clear. Brian was panicking with his colleague Liam's revelation, but then he realized he couldn't hide it any longer. Oh my god, you finally found out. I was hiding it from you. I'm with Brian during and after work. I spend more time with him than he does with you. That means I am closer to Brian than you are, no matter who you are. And you guys are in a hotel? That means you guys had. Hey, hey, don't be so angry. Sure, there are times when that happens, but it's part of communication. You might not understand this if you didn't have a childhood friend, Olivia. It's like that with all childhood friends, male and female, you know? What are you talking about? Don't you realize that you have committed adultery? There's a line you shouldn't cross, even if you've known each other since childhood. No no no, that's your way of thinking, isn't it? Don't force it on me. It's a diversification of values. There are people who think like you, and there are people who think like us. That's not diversification of values. Only people with common sense can deal with that. It's not something a child who doesn't even know common sense can handle. Child, we are all adults. Don't talk about diversification if you are a stubborn person who can't get out of the old way of thinking. That's why you are a child. Common sense? Or is it the law this time? This is for people to live their daily lives in peace. Diversification of values is for people to realize their own unique way of life within such a framework. These are not words to validate your inhumane actions. That kind of thinking is already old-fashioned. I made up my mind. I'm calling off the wedding. What? Hey, wait a minute. Why would you do that? I told you it was just a communication. Everyone has different values, don't deny them. 
Didn't you listen to your mother? What you have done is outside of what can be said within the framework of values. I asked you not to see her in the first place, and you ignored me. I can't be in a relationship where we can't compromise each other. If that's the kind of relationship you two have, then I wish you the best of luck. Well, wait a minute. There's a difference between having fun with someone and marrying someone. I want to marry you. Don't tell me you're breaking off the engagement. Oh no, you've already messed up what you're saying. Even though I have decided to break off my engagement to Brian and tell him, Brian is selfish and won't accept it. So I... Okay, you refuse it. Amelia, can I ask you to come over here for a minute? What, Amelia? What, you were at the ceremony too? Yes, Olivia invited me as a good friend from college. Remember my major? I worked really hard and now I'm a lawyer. What? A lawyer, you don't mean. I'm sorry, Amelia. I didn't mean to get you into this mess. Don't worry, I'm more than happy to help my friend. Thank you. I'd like to ask you a question right now. I would like to call off my engagement to Brian and ask Brian and Sharon to pay for the entire wedding fee and alimony. Do you think I can do that? Yes, I think it will be fine. I've just checked, and their photos are on the internet. If you check their credit card history, you might find more evidence of their affair. We'll discuss the amount later, but you don't have a problem with breaking off the engagement or asking for alimony. What? Brian, you promised not to upload the pictures. Why did you leave such obvious evidence? No, no, I didn't upload them. Sure, there were no pictures on the account you usually use. But you posted a lot of pictures on your private account. And they were very polite and included information about when, where, and what they were doing. What? No way! Brian, are you an idiot? Ugh, I thought if it was on private, they wouldn't find out. I wanted to show off to my online friends. I don't know how I raised him like this. You didn't stop flirting with Sharon even though Olivia was there. You're not a good fiancé. Everyone, I am so sorry that this happened. I apologize to the guests. Hey, it's nothing for you to apologize for, you're the victim. On the other hand, Brian and Sharon. I'm really disappointed in you. Mr. President. No, it's not like that. I can explain. No need to make excuses. I'm sure all the details of the situation have been made clear. You guys don't have to come to work tomorrow. I can't trust someone who destroys people's happiness. Hey, hey, guys, calm down. You've been exaggerating things now. If it was so important, why don't you have another wedding? Seriously? Are you serious about this? You've got to be kidding. Isn't there a word for apologizing in your dictionary? I think she needs to start her life all over again. Ugh, I'm cut this idiot off from my life. So, Olivia, don't tell me you're breaking off the engagement. What? Who's an idiot? Then you're a dickhead. I don't care who is an idiot and a dickhead. I've already decided to break off my engagement with you. I'm breaking off the engagement and I'm charging you for the wedding and alimony. I have no intention of going back on this at all. Now that's settled, you'll have to deal with Olivia through me from now on. If you ignore me and go to her directly, I will make it physically impossible to go to her directly. What do you mean physically? You hurt me like won't be able to move or won't be able to talk. When I cut Brian off and tell him to call off the engagement. Please, Olivia, give me a chance. I won't do this anymore. The only person I love is you. Hey! You told me I was the only one you love. What about when you said you would give me your body and soul? For God's sake, shut up. What can I say, Sharon, is your position mistress? Of course, he has a real wife, and he is still crazy about me. I mean, he still finds me attractive enough to break the law. That's just great. Damn, you're crazy. You've got to be kidding me. Were you thinking like that? 
I'm on the verge of getting married or not because of you. Like I said, there's no way I'm starting over with you. I'm already on the brink. There's no point in fighting now. But Olivia, this is a chance in a way, isn't it? If you make up with Brian, he will be stuck with you for the rest of his life. You can use him as a bank account, or you can use him as a slave. I bet you'll never get another chance like this. Are you sure you want to throw this offer away? Don't be ridiculous. How can you say that before you apologize? I don't want that kind of twisted relationship. Besides, if we got married, you'd have me right where you want me. You're wrong if you think I'd fall into that trap. I'm getting rid of her. You can put a GPS on me if you want. So, please. I beg you. You've been whining for a while now. Olivia has already made up her mind. Stop whining. Anyway, I'm done with you. I don't even want to see you anymore. All right, both of you, get out of here. Oh no, how could you do this to me? It can't be helped. Come on, let's get out of here. Okay? Stop it, don't touch me. Damn. I wish you weren't my childhood friend. So, Brian and Sharon left the ceremony hall yapping. After that, I broke off my engagement to Brian with Amelia's full support. Brian and Sharon were fired from their jobs and their income was cut off. They refused to pay because they had been made redundant and had lost their income. According to Amelia, she physically demanded payment and it was paid soon after. Now they are in debt for this payment, they tried to find new jobs. This did not go well as Sharon followed Brian everywhere he went. So Brian told Sharon that he was leaving her with some harsh words. Sharon was shocked and became depressed. Brian was now living in debt and was unable to pay off his mounting debts. Sharon, in shock after being dumped by her childhood friend, led a life of despair, tormented by her debts. And as for me... Well, you love parfaits as usual. What's wrong with it? It's sweet and cute, and the best dessert. You really love it, don't you? But are you sure that I join you? Of course, I wanted to thank you for your support today. I don't think it's right to get your favorite food. Ha! Huh? None of you like parfait? I love sweets. I mean, I like it, but... Then it's not a problem. Today I have prepared a parfait that you can only eat if you make a reservation. Oh, that's so exciting. Are you talking about this huge parfait? Yes, yes. But it's so funny that they say it's such a huge parfait because it's not. No, it's not funny at all. It's huge enough. I wonder if I can eat that much. After that, I went back to my normal life. Today I am in a nearby cafe to treat the two people who looked after me to something delicious. This restaurant has a special menu that you can only eat if you make a reservation. I wanted to try it once. I really wanted them both to try it, so I did my best to make a reservation. They both looked at each other and staring at the sky. I am sure they are thinking about the parfait they have not yet seen. And so the three of us spent our sweet time together.